recently, first China Horn of Africa Peace, Governance, and Development Conference, was held. This is the first time China aims to play a role in the area of security. Now let's know what is the Horn of Africa? The Horn of Africa is a peninsula in Northeast Africa. Located on the easternmost part of the African mainland, it is the fourth largest peninsula in the world. It lies along the southern boundary of the Red Sea and extends hundreds of kilometers into the Gardafui Channel, Gulf of Aden, and Indian Ocean. The Horn of Africa is equidistant from the equator and the Tropic of Cancer. The Horn contains such diverse areas as the highlands of the Ethiopian Plateau, the Ogaden Desert, and the Eritrean and Somalian coasts. The Horn of Africa denotes the region containing the countries of Djibouti, Eritrea, Ethiopia, and Somalia. The area has experienced imperialism, neocolonialism, Cold War, ethnic strife, intra-African conflict, poverty, disease, famine and much else. What are the recent Chinese projects? In January 2022, China asserted its three objectives in Africa, controlling the pandemic, implementing a forum on China-Africa cooperation, FOCAC, outcomes, and upholding common interests while fighting hegemonic politics. In the 2021 forum, the entire region of the Horn participated, and four resolutions were adopted. The Dakar Action Plan The two sides commend the development of relations between China and Africa, and believe that over the past 21 years since its inception, the Forum has strongly promoted the development of relations between China and Africa, and become an important benchmark for international cooperation with Africa. China-Africa Cooperation Vision 2035 it was formulated to determine the directions and objectives of mid- and long-term cooperation and promote a closer community with a shared future for China and Africa. Sino-African Declaration on Climate Change It is aimed at enhancing coordination and cooperation in the multilateral process on climate, and jointly safeguard the legitimate rights and interests of China, Africa and other developing countries. DECLA, during the COVID-19 pandemic, China donated over 300,000 vaccines to Ethiopia and Uganda, and 200,000 vaccines to Kenya and Somalia. Sudan and Eritrea have also benefited from China's vaccine diplomacy. What are China's primary interests in the region? Infrastructure. One of its landmark projects was fully funding the 200 million US dollars African Union headquarters in Addis Ababa. China has also invested in the Mombasa-Nairobi rail link in Kenya, and has already delivered on railway projects in Sudan. In Djibouti, 14 infrastructural projects are funded by China. Financial assistance. Ethiopia, is one of the top five African recipients of Chinese investments, and also has a debt of almost 14 billion US dollars. China accounts for 67% of Kenya's bilateral debt. In 2022, China promised to provide 15.7 million US dollars assistance to Eritrea, natural resources, oil and coal. China is also interested in minerals such as gold, iron ore, precious stones, chemicals, oil and natural gas in Ethiopia. South Sudan, a source for petroleum products, has had continued Beijing investment in the industry since the latter's initial entry in 1995. Maritime interests. China's first and only military base outside its mainland is in Djibouti. The U.S. has speculated that China wishes to build another military base in Kenya and Tanzania, thereby increasing its military presence in the region. Okay guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back in another video.